Hi everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, I have a lot of work to do in my day job uh, and I haven't had that much time for both filming, video editing, uploading, etc. So if you if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing art wise, um, I would recommend you follow my Instagram account. Uh, there should be a link to it in the description uh, below the video. Anyway, I'm on a run with the earthy gold silver colors. Um, so this will be my, is it the sixth in a row? I think so. Um, I have a big 50 by 61 centimeter canvas. Um, I have no idea what that's in inches. If I find out, find out, I'll write it in the description. Um, I have five different colors, um, layered brown, white, black, silver, gold. Uh, the brown is a burnt umber. I have uh, four cups of approximately three deciliters of paint each. The pouring medium is a 50-50 um, PVA and water mix with some retarder added to slow the drying process of the paint to avoid cracks. Um, what else? Um, a few drops of silicone in each uh, mixed paint. Um, the ratio pouring medium to paint is about, or not about, it's pretty uh, precise. 60% medium, 40% paint. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, won't recommend uh, tilting two cups at one time. If you don't have really good uh, eye to hand coordination. Um, so go this way. I'm doing them in this order on purpose because I'm thinking that I want to do a lip with the last one, kind of across that way. We'll see how that goes. So hold on to it. Uh, I'm loving how this is starting out so hopefully I'm not going to screw it up in the process I'm just gonna pop the bigger air bubbles before I start tilting um, I think I'm going to try and cover the canvas in paint, then torch a bit. Okay. 
get a few more cells. It's funny how different the colors come out of the cup. These two you see a lot of the brown, here you see more of the black. Um, they're layered the same way, so don't have a good ex explanation for that. Sorry, I'm moving the, the canvas is so big that it's difficult to keep it in the camera frame at all times. But please be patient with me. I think I'll get there in the end and I'll get to show you most of the process. I love these colors so, so much. Um, I think this is looking quite gorgeous so far. Hopefully the canvas doesn't slip in my hands. Loving how like wavy it looks so far. Uh, just cleaning my hands a bit, especially when working on such a big canvas. Your hands move around so much more. So if you make a mess, which you're bound to do. Uh, you might end up um, dripping paint uh, in the middle of the canvas, which you obviously don't want to do. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to try and use that corner down there while at the same time covering the bottom of the canvas. Okay, um, I'm really loving the flow of it, so um, I think I'm not actually going to torch it. Uh, I've been playing earlier today 
uh, with kind of a chameleon cell technique. Basically, instead of we can skip the silicone silicone in the paint and instead use a toothpick or a barbecue stick, dip it ever so lightly in silicone, wipe it off, and then just touch the surface of the paint. That will break the surface tension. And cells will form. This way you can um, more easily control where you where the cells appear. The reason why I'm doing it here is because I love all these this wavy action going on so I don't want heaps of cells and when you torch you're bound to get cells that are kind of pretty close together and um, that's not the look I want to go for here so I'm just gonna um, add some uh, here and there uh, often these cells will grow bigger as well than the ones you torch. You still have to do a bit of stretching after. Um, If you can, try and not poke the way the stick all the way through to the canvas. Because if the silicone sticks to the canvas, um, you might get these kind of ugly, uh, really crater like things. Um, That aren't very nice so you can see the cells um, slowly slowly growing where I've poked the skewer quite difficult to keep your hands steady when you're doing this. I've had a bit of practice earlier today so I'm, I'm getting better. But I keep holding my breath when I get close to the canvas and try and poke. more and then I'm in. Oh. 
Okay, stop. Okay, so I'm going to give these just a few minutes to really go nice and plump. Then I'll move the paint around a bit and see if I can stretch them, but without ruining this composition, uh, which is looking quite good. Okay, back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the cells have, uh, let's say they've matured. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do. I think any more 
or just ruin it. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Um, gives me also a good idea for another one. Uh, this one I think might end up on my office wall, presuming it dries properly anyways, uh, which I'm hoping it'll do. Uh, the same mixture of paint and pouring medium uh, has dried well the last few days, so this one should too. Um, I'll take you down for a close-up as well and then I'll post a picture in the end. Okay, here we go. Look at this. These cells are quite huge. I mean, look, there's my thumb. So that cell, this one, just there, it's a lot bigger than my thumb, actually. And these ones up here are even bigger. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get the whole thing. There you go. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment on anything really. Um, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.